Also, I uh, had the chance to complete the spine diploma, Arab spine diploma in the spine field. And in, uh, since my training uh, times, uh, I focus more on the minimal invasive surgery and mostly I focus on the spine surgery actually. And in the last uh, uh, few years, I start uh, also uh, training on the endoscopic, uh, endoscopic spine surgery. And uh, last, uh, I, I did two fellowships in the endoscopic spine surgery. Last one, uh, in the uh, last summer, in the uh, uh, and uh, we start a new technique in the endoscopic surgery, which is called UBE, more advanced and more useful in the field of the neurosurgery. Show on the screen. Hey, Dr. Uh, I'm also a member in the many uh, international society, like the active member. I attend uh, many of the uh, workshop and uh, conference and meeting, uh, like the North American Spine Society, NAS, or uh, World uh, Column Spine Society, IO Spine, Eurospine. Uh, uh, UB or uni, uh, unilateral by portal endoscopic spine society and Arab spine. Uh, there's my some uh, pictures uh, about my uh, some meetings and a uh, workshop. Uh, all this, uh, all this in the outside, and there's uh, one uh, picture. This uh, picture with the professor Dr. Samir Hassanbud. This before one month. Uh, he write the first book about the story of the neurosurgery in the Iraq since uh, the beginning till now, and this is the book and this uh, be available now for every neurosurgeon in the Iraq and include name all the all the neurosurgeons in the Iraq, and this in the this picture pictures this doctor uh, professor doctor Saad Al the first neurosurgeon in the Iraq. And this professor Dr. Samir and this doctor professor Dr. Abdul Amir, uh, which now is uh, president of the Iraqi Neurosurgery uh, Board. Uh, actually, neurosurgery is a very different field regarding to the uh, more other field because our uh, surgery aim it is. Uh, life saving not uh, it's just for to decrease complaint of the patient especially in the brain when you when you talk about the brain when uh, when you try to uh, treat our patients for example when we have a patient present with the uh, headaches which which were one of the most common complaint in the neurosurgery or vomiting which uh, all this uh, sign of increased intracranial pressure our aim is not to decrease uh, this complaint. Our aim to life saving because uh, this complaint generally uh, it is due to some serious condition like brain tumor, brain abscess, or uh, some hematoma. For this, our surgery in the brain is mostly uh, toward to life save of the patient. And others, uh, our uh, part of the field is spine surgery. So in the spine surgery, uh, the aim is two points. First, to prevent more uh, complication of the patient, and second, it's, uh, comfortability of the patient, to decrease the pain and make the patient to able to uh, walk. Generally, uh, if you divide the neurosurgery to the uh, subspecialties, uh, when you finish your training in the neurosurgery, when you finish uh, your board or any training program, the the aim is to uh, to be uh, the surgeon to be able to manage all the emergency in the neurosurgery. We have some uh, some emergency which uh, all the neurosurgeons should be able to treat this uh, conditions like head trauma, spine trauma, some congenital abnormalities, 
uh, some deteriorated, suddenly deteriorated brain tumors, brain abscess, uh, uh, some hemorrhagic stroke or ischemic stroke which need uh, urgent interventions, some uh, congenital abnormalities like myelomeningocele, which is present in the back of the newborn, which need emergency surgery. Uh, for this, every neurosurgeon, when complete training of the neurosurgery, should be at least able to manage all neurosurgical emergency. For this, when we finish the training of the board, we, we work as general neurosurgery. In the general neurosurgery, there is many topics. I put for you two links. Uh, it's actually one link, but two parts. In the second part, it is about the medical student guide for uh, what makes the, the interest in the neurosurgery. And the first uh, link, it's Neurosurgical Atlas. You can find everything about the neurosurgery, even videos, chapters about uh, all the continue the neurosurgery uh, on this American, the most famous American site. Uh, you can, after this meeting or any other days, you can look at this uh, link and you, I, I'm sure you will uh, benefit from this uh, link too much. In the general, uh, uh, when you uh, have any call, what you receive? You receive from right for this for every uh, student complete uh, study in the College of the Medicine should be now uh, many things about the head injury and spine injury because all the patient you receive in the emergency traumatic cases you should be looked to this patient other package and should be managed the head before everything you need to manage uh, the level of the conscious of the patient you should be keep. Uh, uh, you should save the spine. Uh, for this, you should be uh, knowledge about the uh, uh, head trauma and the spine trauma. Other things you need to learn in the College of the Medicine, uh, some congenital abnormalities like myelomenopsid, hydrocephalus, which also is so important for every student in the uh, uh, study in the uh, in College of the Medicine, and we will work in the future, inshallah, in the uh, emergency department. Another point is very important for every doctor to know, uh, to know uh, about the back, uh, the spine, especially back pain, because the back pain is the most second complaint uh, in the world, which makes the patient visit the hospitals. For this, there is many causes of the back pain. Uh, most of the Pain, uh, uh, and we can divide this back pain to the specific pain. So this patient, uh, specific pain which is related to the spine mostly. Spine trauma, degenerative spine disease like canal stenosis, herniation, or infection. And you also have unspecific pain which uh, relate to the other organ, urological system, uh, abdomen, uh, gynecological system, vascular system, for this, for every doctor, should we have the knowledge about uh, the back pain and the causes? Uh, for this point, you in the, your college, in the, all the college of the medicine, they study neurosurgery because some of the uh, points for uh, learn how how manage the patient in the emergency department and others uh, for the futures uh, when you be. Uh, GP or you are working uh, in the, your clinic or, or you do any sub uh, another specialty like medicine, neurology, urology, orthopedic, gynecology, even rheumatological disease, you need to know about the pain, back pain. This is the uh, one point. Another field of the neurosurgery, the uh, brain tumors. We have different brain tumors, primary and secondary brain, uh, brain tumors. Actually, the brain tumors, it's uh, divided to the benign and uh, malignancy, as you know. Even in the benign tumors, in the brain, it's different than other organs. It's also life-threatening. 
Because if there's this tumor, even if it's totally benign, if you not follow up this tumor and the tumor expanded and make pressure on the uh, structure of the brain could be cause of the uh, many complications, even the death. For this, everything, as I mentioned in the uh, in the beginning, uh, our jobs in the brain, especially it is life's uh, saving. Uh, other than uh, this uh, condition, we have congenital abnormalities, like uh, some defect in the spine, like myelomeningocele, which is a defect in the spine cord and meninges. It's not covered by the bone, uh, and it is uh, herniated outside, or another, uh, some congenital abnorm abnormalities like cysts inside the brain, like arachnoid cyst, other cysts. All this need management and follow-up, and all this it is job of the neurosurgeon. Others, we have infection like meningitis and brain abscess, and uh, uh, all this uh, disease, if not managed as well, and not follow up it, and not do surgery in the exact time, is also led even to the death and many serious complications. Other than this, there is another two, uh, two field, which is uh, new started uh, in the Iraq and uh, in the last few years, the tra training start to all, also to this field. Uh, one of this, the vascular neurosurgery, which is related to the some abnormality like aneurysm uh, in the vascular or the um, uh, AP malformation and some others vascular abnormality. And actually, in the uh, be before uh, five or ten years ago, vascular vascular neurosis is not deployed well, and the training of this part is very weak in the all the center of the bo board. But in the last uh, few years, uh, there is. Uh, some in the last uh, few years, uh, especially in the book that uh, the training of the vascular of the neurosurgery also started, and in the last two three years also the new training started uh, regarding the functional neurosurgery. The functional neurosurgery actually this is not. Uh, Common in the Middle East uh, as all. Yeah, there is no multiple uh, the centers to training of this uh, field of the neurosurgery and functional neurosurgery. Uh, it is dealt with uh, some neurological uh, uh, conditions like uh, tremors, dystonia, epilepsy, some uh, 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 symptoms of the Parkinson's. So also, it's now it's new field in the neurosurgery and need uh, special training. Another point about the neurosurgery, which which is also uh, new, and now it's applied in the Iraq, uh, radio surgery. Radio surgery, uh, which, is, uh, which is called gamma knife. Gamma knife is radio surgery used to uh, manage uh, lesions in the brain and upper cervical. And there is like this machine for others organ, is called uh, cyber knife. And gamma, uh, gamma knife is not radiological uh, responsible. It is related totally to the neurosurgeon. And the neurosurgeon do this uh, uh, treatment modality. Uh, gamma knife, it is useful for uh, some uh, brain tumor, especially deep stated brain tumor, and uh, size less than 3 cm. And it's very useful for treatment of the metastatic brain uh, tumors for uh, AB malformation, for treatment of the trigeminal neuralgia and some other uh, conditions and disease. Uh, gamma knife, what's the difference between rad radio surgery and traditional radiotherapy? Actually, radiotherapy it is a treatment or a radiation to the all the brain, to the normal tissue and to the uh, lesions. But gamma knife is just working on the and targeting the lesions, the tumor or the uh, the AB malformations. So it's not affecting normal uh, tissue, but it's need training. I I had training in the gamma knife also, and we have uh, gamma knife in the Arabs in the Arabic teaching hospital, and you also have in the Baghdad 
gamma knife in the private and in the public hospital, and there is another machine in the Basra, as I know. Uh, and gamma knife does not need the patient to admit to the hospital. It is uh, it's before uh, treatment, uh, before one day or two days, the patient sent to the MRI. And in the same day, uh, day of the treatment, the patient, uh, uh, there's special uh, uh, program uh, for gamma knife. Uh, it is mounted mount to the head of the patient and send the patient to the CT scan. After that, uh, all this data applied to the uh, computer. Uh, it's connected to the gamma knife and the surgeon, neurosurgeon, draw the borders of the tumor and uh, cho choose the radiation dose and it is a uh, need 15 minutes to half hours depending on the surgical plan and the patient after that go to the home this i summarize of the what we have in the neurosurgery uh, as all um, and i am sure if you look to this link i put for you neurosurgical atlas you will find many information you can uh, watch many videos about the uh, uh, surgery in the, and the uh, uh, and this surgeon is very uh, famous surgeon and uh, popular uh, this very popular sites and many surgeons look uh, look to this video in this site uh, for it's also benefit for uh, advance your technique uh, regarding Another point about the neurosurgery as all. Well. Actually, neurosurgery it is uh, very important branches. Yani, uh, the, the neurosurgeon in the world they daily save many lives. Uh, you can think in our city, for example, in the Erbil, before fifteen years when there is no neurosurgeon, even for simple uh, head. Uh, for simple uh, intracranial hematoma like exadural, which is one of the simple, uh, we have five types of intracranial hematoma. One of the, uh, this, it is exadural hematoma. Even for this simple hematoma, the patient uh, at that time uh, passed away and, and uh, 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 we lost uh, like this case. But now in the, our school, we can very easily by very uh, short time surgery we can uh, save many uh, lives uh, another part of the neurosurgery it is spine actually the bulk, bulk cases of the neurosurgery i think in the era at least in the era it's like this it is spine surgery because when we uh, when we see the patient in the outpatient, for example, in the Arbit Teaching Hospital, if you see 100 patients in the one day, 95% of these cases, it is spine cases. Yes, not all the cases need surgery. Generally, 85% of the cases in the spine, uh, complaint of the spine not need surgery. And the surgery, in the, in the last few years, because the advance of the technique more focused on the minimal invasive surgery, the complication of the surgery decreased and the happiness of the patient increased. Uh, and many complications uh, we saw in the past or we uh, hearing about is not happen now. But of course, spine surgery, it's very different even than brain surgery. Spine, spine surgery, it is need good decision uh, with ex good experience in the uh, approach. Because it, it is not important to do surgery. It's important to choose uh, which case needs surgery and which approach is better for this patient. Need fixation or not? Need just minimal invasive surgery or not? All, the, all this affect the result of the patient. And uh, you should be remember this point. The first surgery, it is the best chance of the uh, patient of the neurosurgery. In the in the neurosurgery, another uh, important point, the complication of the surgery. In neurosurgery, unfortunately, 
the complication is uh, irreversible. Yani when, when there is injury to the nerve or when there is injury to the cortex, it's not so easily will uh, recovery and will this uh, injury will repair. It's not like fracture of the bone or like a cosmetic surgery if the patient not happy in the first surgery in the second uh, surgery there is chance to better uh, result no there is revision surgery in the neurosurgery yes there is secondary surgery but this surgery mostly for uh, not for complication actually for example there is brain tumor you did uh, operation uh, the tumor removed totally or partially and there is a rec a recurrence a recurrent and you do another surgery for rec recurrence for this it's not complication of the surgery or example in the spine you have uh, uh, this care nation uh, you did surgery for uh, for the patient the patient's happy after surgery and after one year or two years or after six months it's, it depends on the uh, uh, the technique of the surgery and the experience of the surgeon. As uh, if the patient again complain, you can't do another surgery. It's as revision because maybe there is a reference new disc herniation. It does not mean complication. When I am talking about the complication, some injury if it's happened during the surgery, it, it's branches actually because you know the nerve system it is uh, very uh, difficult to uh, reco recover again yes we have time hello You just thought it's Mauni? Wada, Dictor, Wada, Sot. Wada. Come on. Venezuela, yeah, has said that it can come on in the Nukat in neurosurgery. Yani, actually, the neurosurgery regarding the training, you should be know this point. When you finish the neurosurgery, you will not able to control all the field. And it's not necessary you for any neurosurgeon to do all the, uh, to, be, uh, to be able to do every surgery and all the approach of the neurosurgeon. It's not mandatory and it's already wrong. And it is a broad and large branches and there's many disease and too much approach for, uh, and in the outside of uh, Iraq, the, for example, in the uh, um, um, uh, USA, I, I meet uh, some neurosurgeon. They just do spine surgery. Never see any patient of the head injury or brain tumors or others. And I have friends in the Turkey, for example, they just do functional neurosurgery, not looked to the any spine or any others part of the surgery. And also I know neurosurgeon just apply uh, gamma knife, just working uh, as specialist of the gamma knife and radio surgery. For this not mandatory uh, to be able to do everything, but you should be know when you finish your training program, uh, for example, board, uh, you should be able to do every emergency in the neurosurgery. This is the important uh, point. Regarding the elective, it is dependent on you. You can, after that, make another program, uh, another training. You can attend many workshop uh, or life surgery or uh, do fellowship and develop yourself in the field which you uh, like more. Yes. That's uh, all I want to talk about this. Uh, uh, this uh, about the news as all. I want to take your question 
and uh, my home message to you don't uh, forget the new life saving surgery it is not for uh, just to decrease the complaint of the patient yeah in most of the cases if the indicated for surgery especially i'm talking about the brain if the surgery not uh, doing the patient will be die then you should be take this message the most case of the neurosurgery, especially in the brain, like brain tumor, if it's indication for surgery or hematoma, indication for surgery or brain abscess or hydrocephalus, if it's indication for surgery and neglected or not do surgery, the complication will be very high and will be uh, many serious complications will develop and even uh, death will happen. And uh, other than uh, death we, we have vegetative state uh, we have brain death and all this uh, all already bad prognosis and uh, it is not uh, more different than death because uh, there is no response there is no good prognosis in the long period uh, thank, thank you, you and i like to take your question uh, please Thank you, Doctor, for this amazing presentation. Now, everyone, if you have any question, write it in the comment bar or raise your hand, as I said, to talk to the doctor. First the question we have, can you talk about electives outside the country? Sorry? Uh, Mohammed uh, Riyad said, can you talk about electives outside the country? Elective? Yes. Elective surgery, you mean? Uh, yes. Elective surgery outside outside the country. Yes, yes. Yeah, and actually, there's no difference in the elective surgery in the outside or in the inside. The elective surgery it is mostly depend on these cases which not need uh, emergency intervention. Uh, this group is spine surgery. Even in the spine surgery, uh, there is some emergency like cauda equina. Cauda equina syndrome, which is uh, the patient suddenly lost the control of the urine uh, and weakness develops suddenly. This one of the emergency. If you neurosurgeon and you are you on call, you need to intervene this patient as soon as possible. I am attending one uh, meeting of the uh, international meeting. Uh, there is uh, uh, some. Uh, yeah, many American and European uh, neurosurgeon and spine surgeon, and there is some also uh, uh, surgeon attend from the Arab countries. Uh, they talk about the cauda equina syndrome, for example. Uh, they all they say as soon as possible. For this, in the spine, it's elective surgery, but we have some uh, uh, condition like cauda equina or foot drop. This actually need emergency surgery. Uh, others. Brain tumors, elective surgery, uh, not the emergency surgery, uh, because not all the brain tumor suddenly deteriorated. It's need more time. We have some aggressive brain tumor. Yes, it is sometimes present to us as uh, uh, sudden deterioration, but it's not the major group. Uh, others, the functional neurosurgery is elective surgery, vascular. Surgery, it's not all the time elective surgery, actually. Uh, we also have surgery of uh, cases of the neurology, like hemorrhagic stroke or uh, ischemic strokes. Some uh, hemorrhagic stroke need surgery, and some ischemic stroke, like infarction, which led to the huge edema, need decompressive craniectomy. And al also we have some uh, con uh, emergency uh, we, uh, with, the, with the case of the neurology, they refer to us. Uh, others, elective surgery, peripheral nerve uh, surgery is also elective surgery, the most common one, carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, others, uh, elective surgery, yeah, and that's uh, as general. Yeah, everything is not emergency, it is elective surgery. General spines, elective surgery, functional neurosurgery, elective surgery, tumors, is elective surgery, even in the Iraq and outside Iraq. Yes. Doctor, we have Abdullah Mujbil has his hand. Abdullah Mujbil, if yes. you want to ask a question. Yeah. 
Good evening, doctor. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Um, first and foremost, Good evening. Uh, thank you for an informative lecture. Uh, I, I think it was a really interesting lecture and actually quite fascinating to learn about neurosurgery from someone as experienced as you. Regarding my question, is about neurosurgery in Iraq. Do you think okay. that hospitals and faculties are well prepared and have the adequate equipment and education to provide an adequate neurosurgical practice and education? Or is it necessary to go outside on, of Iraq and study abroad? Like, for example, Dr. Saad yes. al uh, studied abroad <laughs> neurosurgery and then opened the Hospital of Neuroscience in Iraq, which became one of the pillars in neurosurgery. Thank you, Dr. Yes, it's a very nice question. Thank you. Actually, we have a good uh, center in the Iraq, yes, but not all our centers, even all, not all uh, our board center is good. Yeah, we, we have neurosurgeon in the, now there's neurosurgeon. You talk about the professor Saad Lutri, is my teacher also. Uh, at that time, there's uh, there's just uh, some uh, neurosurgeons, famous neurosurgeon found in the Baghdad. Others, uh, in the Mosul also there is some uh, uh, neurosurgeon. And I think other uh, city of the Iraq, there's at that time there's no any neurosurgeon. But now there is a center of training of the neurosurgery in the many city in the Iraq. But of course, not uh, not all the center is a good center for training because there is no high facility in the all the center. If you take my opinion, the high good facility it's not available in the all the centers. For example, if you if you talk about the navigation. Navigation is very important in the spine surgery, even in the brain surgery. It's a, uh, it's make your uh, surgery more uh, easy and it decrease the complication. Also, it's not available. For example, there is centers in the uh, some developed countries. The CT scan, MRI uh, during the inside the theaters with the, this make your surgery more easy. But the yeah. And now there is robotic surgery, endoscopic surgery in the spine surgery, and in the brain also there's endoscopic uh, surgery. And in the training of the board, there is no chance of the endoscopic surgery, I think, in the most of the centers, if it's not in the all. Because there's the equipment that, uh, needed to the endoscopic surgery, it's not available. For In the Erbil, we start endoscopic surgery, but we not have in the public. We uh, uh, do the surgery in the private. Uh, because there is no uh, the endoscopic machine for this surgery. There's endoscopic uh, machine for arthroscopy, for uh, example, for uh, orthopedics, for general surgery, but for neurosurgery still, at least in our city, there is no endoscope uh, uh, tools and machines in the public. For this, yes, all the centers is in, in not uh, high facility and the uh, surgeons may be not uh, experienced in the, all the field. But I think in the Baghdad, you have good centers for training. Uh, centers of the uh, hospital, the Dr. Saad Wood is good hospital. Because there is one point that's very important. Don't uh, forget this point. Uh, when you go to the outside, it's not, uh, yeah, if you have facilities, it's a good option to go to outside to do training. Because if you do training in the high facility center and with the expert, Surgeon, of course, it's affect your future and your uh, career and your skill uh, too much. But not in the all the center, even in the Europe, it is better than ours because they have facility. Maybe they have good surgeon, but they not have too much uh, patient. But you in Baghdad, for example, the hospital side, there's many cases for this. You can do very will uh, uh, practice. Yes. You get your um, answer or not? Yeah, thank you, doctor. Thank you. I got it. Haider Karar has raised his hand. If you have a question, go on. Uh, Dr. Ali. Shukran lil muhadara al shayiq al um, and actually, I have a question about uh, two questions. Uh, what makes a spine surgeon a, a an excellent spine surgeon? Or spine surgery in, in general, is it regarded as a, a specialty where, uh, for example, 
المسيره النيورو سيرجري از ا ريزيدنت 6 ييرز راح يتعاملون هم الطلاب مع كيسز ايمرجنسي از ات ريجاردد از ان ا باث تو جيت اواي فروم ذيس ايمرجنسي كيسز اند تو مانج مور ستيبل كونديشنز هذا Okay, I'll repeat the question. Here are two questions. What makes the spine surgeon uh, an excellent spine surgeon? Is spine surgery regarded today as a uh, out path from the regular uh, emergency conditions with uh, life saving surgery? اللي هو اللي اللي درسوه خلال الريزيدنسي او الست سنين بس اذا بس هاي السؤال الثاني اذا تعيد حتى اذا بالعربي تحكي عادي صراحه ما ما وصلني الفكره السؤال الثاني اي بالضبط اقصد انه الطلاب عاده الطلاب البورد من يداومون نيورو سيرجري حكيت وياهم وقالوا انه يعني هو الشغل الورك اثيك كلش متعب بالنيورو سيرجري آه فغالبا انه من سنه اولى او سنه ثانيه يفكر انه ها خلص انا بدي اختص سباين سيرجري حتى اقلل اللود هذا او الـ الـ فهل هو فعلا هو هذا الطريق المتبع يعني؟ لود قليل ولا يعني قصدي يعني يصير يصير لود اقل والكيسز تكون مور ستيبل يعني مقارنه بباقي يعني الاختصاصات البيس سكول سباين سيرجري يعني اذا صار سباين سيرجري قصدك؟ اي بالضبط اي تمام بالنسبه للسؤال الاول أه على التريننج مال سباين سيرجن كان مو بالضبط شو عم نسوي اكسلنت سباين سيرجن تمام طبعا هذا ديبند اون ذا سنتر يو وركينج ان يعني هسه مثلا اكثر اللي تخرجون من سنتر اربيل هذا مشهور من قديم أه من ناحيه سباين سيرجن ذي نوت هاف بيج ديفكت لان يعني most of the surgery in the Erbil they start with the spine surgery before. يعني there is many cases of the spine surgery before uh, done in the Erbil and now it's also. For this, uh, the, it depends on the center. But the spine surgery, it is updated all the time. Yeah, first before the, in the my training, uh, at that time there is uh, a big wound and uh, Um, uh, open many levels for uh, just for doing one this uh, disectomy, one simple disectomy. After that, uh, microscope uh, entered the, uh, they started to use the microscope, and now the endoscope in the last two years it's very trend. So you need all the time update. But is, it is an important point. First time you should be learn the basic. And you'll be able to how to uh, to now how to do surgery. After that, it's not a big problem. Uh, if you start by microscope, and uh, now the UBE, which I am uh, uh, do it now, this is the most uh, advanced and new endoscope system. And now it is uh, started new in the USA also. And there's some um, um, some centers uh, till now there's no endoscope uh, UBE in the Europe also. Uh, Uh, but the same it's the same system of the microscope but you use endoscope uh, uh, and you not uh, use microscope you not uh, do opening just to uh, you not uh, do incision i mean yeah, but you use just two port two uh, small opening half uh, centim or half uh, cm and uh, inside this two port you can do endoscopic spine surgery So it is in the every years there is new. Now in the many centers in the Europe, they started to use uh, a robot in the spine surgery. For this, you should be adapted to the new approaches, uh, new technique to uh, advance your techniques. Uh, it's depending on this. Yani, the uh, first you should be do the uh, your training in the good centers. This absolutely is right. Uh, and after that, you need uh, every year uh, uh, do another training. Uh, for, uh, for example, on any uh, uh, at least uh, I, I do three, four, sometimes five uh, uh, outside train, spine training. Regarding the نقطة ثانية, والموضوع مو موضوع إنه الفيلد كلش واسع فهم يختارون spine. لا هو اكو شغلات معينه 
مثلا سباين النتائج العمليات افضل يعني البرين تيومر وي هاف سم تايم اوف ذا برين تيومر فيري اجريسيف انفورتشنلي اتس فيري كومن يو دو ايفري ثينجز نوت جاست ان ذا اور سنترز ايفن ان ذا اوت سايد they do the best but the patient after six months it's uh, we forget the patient for this point uh, some seniors when they see this result and compare this re result with the spine surgery result uh, some of the surgeons think uh, this more less stress uh, another point uh, regarding spine surgery the income of the spine surgery is more uh, it's not because the surgery of the spine is more expensive no the surgery of the brain is more expensive on the spine but the number of the cases is too much regarding the brain uh, third point uh, because most of the cases during the surgery it's spine surgery i think the Uh, post graduated uh, most of the surgeon think if you start to do brain surgery you need many new uh, train, uh, training and many uh, don't like to do uh, in this role i think uh fikra بس بالنسبه لهذه الاجهزه مثل اليو بي اي اللي حكيت عنها هذه دخولها للبلاد يعني سهله تكون لو لو لا 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 هسه موجود بغداد واحنا بدينا مبربي موجود بغداد تمام تمام سهله هو تدري شنو هو دائما البرايفت والحكومي لا دائما هو منافسه يعني البرايفت دائما هم منافس بين منافسه اقوى يجيبون بل الحكومي يمنا ترى اقول يمكم اكو ايه شغلات جديده تدخل واكو يعني مثلا فانكشنال نيرو سيرجري ترى هو فد شيء تكاليفه كلش غاليه على شو اسمه على الدوله وهسه قامت تجي ويسوون كورسات على فانكشنال نيرو سيرجري ويدزون اخصائيين للتريننج ويجيبون هذول الماشين تدري هذول الماشين يستخدموه بالفانكشنال نيرو سيرجري مثلا انتم اكو سباين سيموليتر فيجال نير ستيميليشن بعض من هاي الابروتشات تكلف 50000 دولار بعضها تدري على الدوله الجهاز هذا الشركه يجيبه ب 50000 دولار يعني تو اكسبنسيف بس هسه قامل يعني يمكن ببغداد وبعض السناتر قاموا يوفروه صراحه وصراحه الفيلد مال نيرو سيرجري فيلد غالي اكسبنسيف يعني الصمام الشان يعني بالبرايفت اذا تشتري الصمام بس الصمام وحده سعره قريب من 500 الى 600 دولار يعني يعني هو النقطه الزينه الامرجنسي اغلب المراكز بالعراق يعني اتس فري فهذا اللي يحل مشكله كبيره لو اذا امرجنسي مو فري فهذا وايد راح يكلف يعني انت تصور ف عمليات واحد صار عنده هيد انجري وهيماتوما ويجي ما عنده هاي الامكانيه بالحكومي بالاهلي اسعار يعني غاليه جدا مو كل واحد يقدر يدفع يعني بس النقطه الزينه بالعراق ويمنع اهم نفس الشيء الامرجنسي وي كان دو موست امرجنسي ان ذا هوسبيتال بابليك هوسبيتال ذيس ذا جود بوينت حتى سباين يعني اغلب شو اسمه اكو مايكروسكوب يعني نقدر لحد معين اللي نقدر نسوي بالاندسكوب نسوي بالمايكروسكوب بس انا اعتقد هو الاندسكوب هسه السنه الاخيره صار ترند بالعالم حتى قبل يعني كثير من الاخصائيين السباين سيرجن المشهورين كانوا ضد انه يشتغلون اندسكوبيك سباين سيرجري بس هسه بعد هاي التطور اللي قام يحدث بالاندسكوبيك سباين سيرجري فقام يسوي يحاول وهس لهم همينه يحولون على اندسكوبيك سباين سيرجري تمام؟ عاشت ايدك دكتور عاشت ايدك عاشت ايدك همينه استاذ سعد هاز ايز هير هاند اف يو هاف اني كويستشن بليز دو هاند 
هلا دكتور أم آه أني قبل يعني مشنت بأول مراحل يعني second stage أو first stage آه أخذنا الفسلجة وشفت المادة مع neurology مو neurosurgery يعني neurology كلش حبيتها أنا طبعا أني coordinator من nervous system module مع صف تعلم اي يعني انا اتفرج كلها انجلسي اورجانيزيشن مالته الفيزيولوجي كلها يعني انا فاهمين ام فدكتور سؤالي كان انه من اقول انه اريد نيورولوجيست او بهذا البرانش يجيني هوايه يعني كريتيسيزم انه ممكن اتس سو ديفيكولت سو يعني وات اي وونت تو نو از وات ذا جريتست اوبستكل is for me in that road if I wanted to pick uh, neurosurgery or neurology? I am, yes, يعني, I, I think all, it's difficult. يعني, neurosurgery, if you compare to the other branches, it's difficult. It's not easy. It's, it's need uh, more training. يعني, للمثال, لما تخلصين بورد هواية اختصاصات أخرى uh, لأن تدري أكو اللي يسوي دبلوم يسوي ماستر البورد يعتبر اكثر شيء يعني اعلى شيء وخمس سنوات وست سنوات وبعض الاقسام الباطنيه اربع سنوات فخمس سنوات ست سنوات ببقيه اختصاصات راح تكوني مسيطره على هو امور بالفيلد بس بالنيرو سيرجري مع الاسف لان الفيلد واسع يعني فعلا ما تقدرين تسيطرين على الكل بس هو تدري شنو هو بالعالم ماكو شيء انا نيرو سيرجن اشتغل كل شيء هذا مفهوم خاطئ فهذا ما يطلع من عند نيرو سيرجن جيد صراحة يعني أنا عارف مثلا هذا الصور واحد من الصور هسه آه هذا الشخص توماس هذا أمريكي هذا دايركتور مال سباين سنتر بكليفلاند تمام هذا بالأسبوع يشتغل يومين فقط يشتغل أربع كيسات آه ما يشتغل أي شيء ثاني تمام يعني مو شرط آه إلا تروحين كل الفيلدات تشتغلي طبعا هذا صعب ما حد يقدر يقول لان كل الفيلدات معناه بس شيء سطحي تمام اكو فروع اخرى تقدرين تثبتين نفسك بسهوله تقدرين تنافسين التقائك بسهوله يعني صراحه هي كل سهل ويحتاج تريننج اخوان فدكتور الصعوبه يعني اكثر هي بالدراسه ما عندنا نيروسيرجن في هواي مرضى يعني الصدق يحتاجون نيرو سيرجري، يعني مو كل مريض لازم الا يطلع للخارج، يعني حتى المرضى وايد مرات ما يلحقون يطلعون للخارج، الصدق بعض المرات اتس توب ايمرجنسي ما يقدر حتى يسافر حتى اذا عنده فلوس. تمام شكرا دكتور، فيعني الصعوبه يعني اكثر بالدراسه لل تو بي ان نيرو سيرجري لا 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 مو دراسه لا لا دراسه لا لا بالنسبه هي مو قضية دراسة، إذا هي على الدراسة يعني هو دائما النيورولوجيست هم يعتبرون الفيلم مالهم صعب دائما هيك يقولون بس أنا أحكي على النيورولوجيست هي قضية مو علاقة بالدراسة، القضية إلا هو عندنا أبروتشات ومع الأسف ما نقدر نشوف كل هاي المرضى يعني مال كل هاي الأبروتشات مثلا مو كل المستشفى يعني مثل مستشفى سعد الوتري بها كل هاي المرضى يعني مستشفى الدكتور سعد الوتري دائما فول بس مو كل السناتر بياكل هاي المرضى فلذلك ما راح تقدرين تشوفين كل هاي المرضى وتسيطرين كل على هاي الابروتشات يعني فيحتاج تركزين على فيلد معين او فيلدين والتريننج مالك تستمرين بهاي الامور تمام شكرا دكتور وشكرا على الجواب والبرزنتيشن حلو. حلو. Now for our last question in comments said Dear doctor, do you regret one day for your choice of neurosurgery? I choice uh, choice uh, med school to be a neurologist in the future. It's my dream since childhood. But now I'm thinking a lot if I will regret it one day. So what is the advantage and disadvantage of this speciality? You advantage of the neurosurgery. Yes. Uh, يعني it's like uh, other uh, surgery of course uh, there's advantage and uh, the advantage uh, you first before everything you should be like should be like this surgery you know if you like this surgery there's advantage for example uh, if you uh, if you like your uh, field 
when you uh, it's uh, when you save life of the patient your patients make you at this happy and this advantage for you as uh, uh, doctors uh, and regarding the income uh, the income of the nurse is not bad it dependent on uh, your experience depend on the your geographic uh, location the city the, depend on the uh, number of the patient in your city and depending on uh, the facet in your center and the number of the neurosurgery in the, your center and the income of the neurosurgery that because the price of the surgery of the neurosurgery it is high uh, compared to the other branches but uh, of course the high income neurosurgeon and also there is many low income neurosurgeon in the Iraq. it depends on the i as i mentioned to the experience and number of the patient in the, this city and the number of the surgeon okay regarding the uh, negative the negative the complication of the patient uh, irreversible irreversible complica uh, complication of the patient this uh, not all the time you can get a good result of the patient which uh, this make you uh, not happy in the many situations this is the most big disadvantage of the neurosurgery actually Thank okay. you, Doctor. Thank now you. we have reached the end of our session. Thank you all for listening. Thank you, Doctor, for your time. And we hope we see you in our next event. That Thank you for all. It's my pleasure to see you all, all and uh, discuss with you. Thank you very much. Uh, لازم تشوفون العمليات تروحون العمليات وهذا اللينك اللي خليت لكم نيروسيرجيكال اطلس اي واحد يفكر بالنيروسيرجري انصحه يطلع عليه يفتحها يشوف العمليات يشوف الشغلات يعني راح يشوفها بشكل جدي وذاك وروح المراكز شوفوا ادخل العمليات ويا الاخصائي مالتكم ويا الاساتذه الموجوده عندكم ذاك الوقت قرروا يعني صراحه إذا تقرر غلط آه، راح يأثر على نتيجتك آه، نتيجة مالك كجرع صراحة أشكركم ومساء مع السلامة مع السلامة دكتور شكرا مع السلامة